what's up YouTube, what's up y'all, uh, so, having done a few videos about noise reduction in raw therapy, I wanted to show you just one more technique to reduce noise in raw therapy with what they call wavelet denoise. So here's a picture, I'll click the info here, I've taken this picture with a Pentax Q7 and a very cool 15 to 45 millimeter f2.8 at ISO 1600 inside a church with crazy Christmas lights and it is a noisy mess and it's pretty bad pretty bad okay so anyway uh, I've already done a lot of my settings so I've done my sharpening and I see I've used a bit higher radius of 0.95 and amount of 203 and I'm gonna turn that on there's my sharpening and now I'm gonna turn on because in this picture I'm seeing some kind of salt and peppery kind of look right there right there there's a few of them around uh, so I'm gonna turn on impulse noise reduction there you go look you see that see that piece right there right where the target right in the bullseye right there see that little tiny just watch see it go bunch of them go so that's impulse noise reduction uh, you can adjust the threshold for that I usually leave it alone and now for my noise reduction I'm going to turn it on and I've used quite heavy like I've used a, a luminance amount at 100 and that's what I do for all my pictures and then I drag up the detail recovery usually quite high but for this one I've only dragged it up to about 40 if I go any higher I start to see noise come back in and then for chrominance I've gone manual and I've turned it up and I've used the curve usually it's like down here I've used the curve to reduce even more noise in the colorful areas because down around here was getting really noisy and messed up you know and I've also increased vibrance here and a few other things but uh you can see my noise reduction it's heavy and I've used the median filter and so I'm going to turn on I've also set micro contrast to mitigate the effects of the medium filter there a bit and uh, I mean this picture as you can see it was quite a mess before all right quite a mess to start with so I mean I'm pretty happy with the noise reduction but I can still see a bit of roughness around these where the dark and light areas meet I can see and uh, if we go into the really dark spots I mean it's it's not bad but yeah look there's a little bit of noise left here so I picked this picture out because it was particularly noisy I mean I usually shoot on big cameras and I'm look I was looking for a picture I actually I find the noise reduction in raw therapy so good that these days I'm just dragging luminance up to 100, setting the detail recovery, maybe fiddling with the color noise, and otherwise that's all I have to do. But uh, before I started using that technique, I would often use this wavelet denoise. And uh, now I have to go looking hard for a picture that I can use for an example, right? Where you use noise reduction and there's still a bit of roughness here, right? A bit of roughness here, a bit of roughness here. And if I drag detail recovery up higher, there'd be even more. Like you could play with this uh, detail recovery versus your wavelet noise reduction. So let's look at the wavelet noise reduction. So you go over to this little, it looks like a, a nuclear symbol almost right like a atomic that's the advanced tab and turn on wavelet levels and we'll scroll down actually I'll collapse some of these other tools because we're just gonna be playing with 
denoise and refine. I'll turn that off too. And uh, so, de wavelet levels. Wavelet levels, uh, I am not the one to explain how this works under the hood, but all you need to know is that this breaks your picture down into levels one through, well, let's see. one through nine and then an extra level and a residual image so you see what i just did there here where it says process click that it says all levels in all directions click there and set it to one level and select level one now we'll come down here to denoise and refine we're on level one right so you see denoise and refine turn down Make sure that link with edge sharpness strength is turned off. Otherwise, things get wacky. Make sure that's turned off. Now, down here is the strength for level one, and up here is the denoise for level one. Uh, the strength controls basically the local contrast of that level. And you see there's level one, there's level two, there's level three. See, the picture is made of levels, obviously, right? Of course, of course it is. Level five, six, right? Seven, eight, nine, extra, and residual image. And I mean, you can do stuff to the residual image, which maybe I'll make a video about that someday. But uh, okay, turn up the amount for level one all the way up. Now we can see level one and we can see that crunchiness. It's the noise that we don't want. So let's take the denoise and turn that up until we see that crunchy, ugly stuff go away. And it's it's gone away. Now we'll drag the amount back down somewhere reasonable. And if the level is giving you trouble, like if you find the level that has all the ugly stuff on it, you might bring the amount down. If you hover, you can see the strength. Sorry, not the amount, the strength. You might bring the strength down below zero on a level that's particularly noisy and ugly. But uh, I usually bring it down just to around zero for a default for now. And now we'll go back up here and we'll select level two. And we'll turn the strength of level two all the way up and again we'll denoise until we see the ugly stuff start to get smoothed away go away go away looks pretty good now we'll drag the strength of level two down often bring level two down below zero and we have a look at level three. I find levels one and two is usually all you need for noise, but sometimes it's there on level three. Oh, sorry, that's the denoise strength. All the way up. Oh, maybe a little. That's probably not noise. That looks like texture. I'll drag it up a little bit, and then we'll bring this, and we'll we'll leave the strength of level three up a bit higher. And now. I'm not going to bother with levels four, five, six, and then, and on from there because that's not where the noise is. Okay, so we'll go back to all levels in all directions, and we'll turn this off. Oh yeah, look, see, it got rid of that ugly stuff. It also might be a bit too strong of an effect. It might have smoothed the image a bit too much for your tastes. And if that is the case, one way you can deal with it is by just reducing the denoise amount on the different levels. Maybe increase the amount, especially on level three that didn't have much noise. We'll turn up and maybe level four will turn up a bit. Add a bit of local contrast. You can play with it and see what looks good but I'm not going to keep playing with it because I've already done it to be honest yeah see 
see, sometimes I can't make up my mind if it looks better. Anyway, you can play with these, and you could go up and turn back on one level and go back to the levels and tweak it. And the other thing that you can do, if the effect of this is too strong for you, you can go back up to the top of wavelet levels, and there's a strength for everything in the wavelet levels tab. And you could just reduce the strength of all the things that you've done in the wavelets tab, which we've only done one thing, but you know, there's other things you can do in here, and their strength can be adjusted. Now I'm having trouble making up my mind because there is a bit of roughness there without our wavelet levels. And with the wavelet levels, we've gotten rid of that. I can't make up my mind if I like it better. But anyway, uh, just wanted to show you that. That's one way. If you're uh, using the regular noise reduction settings and you find that you've got noise in one area of your picture that is pesky and, you know, you might not even want to use like the global settings for one nasty area. Uh, so you can use this wavelet denoise to uh, come in and just denoise the one level or the two levels and then play with the local contrast of the different levels, play with the strength of its effect and uh, get rid of some pesky noise that way. And just for interest sake, here's the finished picture. Uh, and it exports, it looks a little bit nicer, honestly, after it exports than it does in raw therapy itself for some reason, but it's still obviously, I mean, we've reduced a lot of noise, but there wasn't a lot of detail underneath it to start with. So, you know, this doesn't do miracles with noise reduction, but it does. I mean, we've gotten rid of basically all the noise. And I don't think we've destroyed any detail. It's just that, you know, with this kind of camera and stuff and in this situation, there's only so much detail to be had. But pesky noise, go, go away. We've gotten rid of it, right? So anyway, until next time, peace.